First, though, growing tension with North Korea is having an impact right here in Austin. Now, North Korea makes a threat to attack four American targets, and Austin is on that list. That growing tension over military maneuvers led North Korea to put their forces on high alert. <laughs> Tens of thousands of North Koreans marching in a call to arms rally in their capital today. It's a response to the U.S. military exercises with South Korea, which included flights with B-2 stealth bombers. But most analysts believe it's just tough talk. Some think it's aimed at getting the U.S. to negotiate with North Korea and possibly loosen economic restrictions. North Korea released photos of President Kim Jong-un signing an order to aim missiles at four U.S. targets. Now, there's a map labeled plan to hit the U.S. mainland in the background of a picture in that uh, image here. Now, the map has four lines showing missile trajectories. One website zoomed in on the map and added an outline of the states. One line leads to Hawaii. The others go to Los Angeles and Washington, D.C. The last line stops near Austin. And Chris Adi is here with more on just how locals are viewing this threat. Well, frankly, it's causing more laughter yeah. than fear. But there are actually some legit theories as to why Austin would be a target. The map that has caused the stir is the one behind Kim Jong-un. It has a line that doesn't specifically point to Austin, but rather just somewhere in the vicinity of Texas. We talked to Stratfor Global Intelligence Company, and they say more than likely it is an old map from when George Bush was president and Texas would have been a symbolic target more so than to target cripple America cripple American resources. Now, if you think the threat is striking fear into the hearts of Texans, you wouldn't know it from Twitter. Only in Austin's Twitter handle speculated that Kim Jong-un isn't a fan of the reverse parking on South Congress. Sarah Beckham tweeted out that the Alamo Drafthouse policy of kicking people out of theaters for texting bit Kim Jong-un and made him trigger happy. Rebecca Chadwell thinks he has had enough of Trudy's limit on Mexican martinis. Funny theories, but Roger Baker at Stratfor explains it likely can all be traced back to George W. Bush. For the Koreans, hitting Central Texas, hitting Austin would have been a symbolic target. It would have sent a signal, okay, George Bush, we can hit your hometown. Um, and that was the perception. He's from Texas. He's from Austin. He was the governor here. So just how realistic is an attack on Austin? Is it even possible? Stratford talked about that. We'll have more on that coming up at 6 o'clock. All right, Chris, thank you. Yep, thank you. And while people joke about today's threat, the growing tension with North Korea is serious stuff to military members and their families here in Central Texas. Looking in depth now, the U.S. Army currently keeps about 19,000 troops stationed in South Korea. They're part of more than 54,000 military troops stationed in the East Asia. Pacific region and that force could increase despite military budget cuts. The Pentagon is already planning to commit 60% of U.S. naval forces to the Asia Pacific region by the end of the decade. 